Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a reliable and resettable map making technique which allows mob to spawn in specific areas. So I'm playing with the resource pack turned off so everything kind of looks a little bit funny um, just so I don't spoil too much. But here are the different mobs that have spawned and it's as if they were there the whole time. So what's happened here is that when I walk past that armor stand you saw, these guys actually get summoned in and I am getting ambushed very quickly. So this is actually slightly random, but the best part about it is that it doesn't require any command blocks to be constantly turned on in your spawn chunks, and it only really requires two armor stands in your area to work. So this is kind of what the area looks like before you enter. Now the redstone blocks are where the mobs actually spawn, and the armor stands are what are used to detect where you are. So if a player in game mode 2 is within a radius of 6 of the armor stand, then it's going to set a redstone block here. Now this is going to stop it from, because it's an impulse command, it's going to stop it from running again. So what it's going to do, it's actually going to summon 12 armor stands um, with a tag of spawn 1 where the redstone blocks are. And I've just used absolute coordinates here just to save me some entities. Um, but the commands only get run once, so 12 of these get spawned. And then these two command blocks are what's in charge of deciding what spawns where. So here I've got an entity data, random armor stand with a tag of spawn 1, C equals 8. So it's going to choose 8 random armor stands and it's going to give it a tag of S Lifi, which is the name of the mob. And it's also going to give it a tag of has spawned. Now it's also going to do the same for the rest of the armor stands. The rest of the armor stands is going to have a tag of S Syax and has spawned. Now that's important because now we've just assigned randomly what mobs can spawn where. And that's what these five command blocks are going to do here. So this is a very, very long command. So it's going to go execute at E, tag equals S Syax. So that's the remaining armor stands and it's going to summon a Syax. And then it's going to do the same for the Lifeites. And then the Lifeites again, because I want a little bit more Lifeites to spawn. So it's going C equals six. So it's going to choose six of those armor stands again. And then after that, it's going to kill the armor stands that have spawned, and that's not important. So, why should you use this in your map? Well, there's a few reasons. One is that it only requires this repeat command block and whatever detection armor stands you need. So there's one for coming in this way, and one for coming in this way. So no, no matter what, those mobs are going to spawn. The other reason is that you can reset it whenever you want. So I can trigger event anywhere which will remove this redstone block and therefore next time I walk through here those mobs will be there again. The third and final reason why this system should be implemented in your map is because you get a very very high amount of control of where you want your mobs to spawn. So every time this happens exactly 20 mobs spawn and you can also have a little bit of randomness because even though 20 mobs spawn, sometimes a Psyx will be there, other times a Life Bite will be there, sometimes a Psyx will be there, other times a Life Bite will be there. So there's a very, very small degree of randomness which can change the way your player plays. So thanks everyone for watching this small map making technique. And this is kind of a spoiler and teaser video as well. Um, so get excited for future projects um, coming up. But for now, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.